Item number four is the citizen's opportunity to address. Oh, you did that. <laughs> is there anything else? Anybody else want to address the council on any items, issues? Okay. Item number five, miscellaneous. A, Sac County Conservation Board to address the City Council on Sac County Conservation Center. Thank you for allowing us to put on your agenda tonight. I'm Barb Bloom. You may remember from a month ago, Renee Stroud and I were here to talk with you about the Sac County Conservation Center project. And I want to thank you for your letter of support that you wrote for us. We really appreciated that. On May 14th, we attended Des Moines to present our project to the CAT committee. And they were just as enthused as you were with one stipulation. There is one criteria in the CAT grant that we were not aware of, and that is that it asks for a dollar funding from the cities within our county. We understand that you have budget commitments already this year. What we're asking is that perhaps you could look beyond that and check your line items and see if maybe you could help us out. They did not indicate a dollar amount. We have made arrangements to contact every city within the council, or within the county, excuse me. We have already met with Lakeview. We are here with you tonight. We will be meeting with Wall Lake and also with Orville. Our two remaining, Shaler and Hurley, were not able to be scheduled yet before June 11th, which is the next CAT meeting in Burlington. <coughs> but they will be on our next agenda also to meet with them. So we are asking each of the cities for a dollar a month support. Just listening to your projects and activities that you have coming up this summer for Sac City, you are a very active city. We would like to be a part of that with our conservation center. We believe we could enhance your city <coughs> activities as well as complement them with our project. At that point, if you have some questions, I'd be happy to answer, or I have members of our board here with us also. <clears throat> so, now do you need your answer by June 11th for the next uh, CAD grant meeting? We would need a pledge from you, yes. Okay. And it may be with the stipulation <coughs> that it is payable upon the receiving of the grant. And as I said, it could be a lump sum, it could be over a two-year period, it could be over a three-year period. If, if we were to pledge, can we you know, stipulate that should the grant not materialize, that our pledge would be withdrawn? That would be the way that Lakeview did there. So okay. the grant would, your pledge would be delivered if the grant is received. What is there a percentage of the number of communities within the county that have to participate in order to meet the criteria? That's a good question. No, there was not. They just said you need to show that you have city support from within your county. So we are count already planning on meeting with four out of the six. They, we are on their agenda already as we are tonight. And we will be, we just couldn't get them in yet before Jan, uh, June 11th. So we will be contacting Shaler and Hurley also. Yeah. <coughs> and you said this could be spread over two or, two or three years? Yes, it could. Mr. Herb, is there a deadline on when you need to receive the first? Well, what we what? plan on doing right now, with your support with Lakeview and after visiting with Odebold and Wall Lake, we plan on contacting the CAP committee and asking them if it's necessary that we contact all six of them or if four out of the six will be sufficient. It's rather futile to make a trip all the way to Burlington and be told, sorry, you have two more to go right. yet. But with the contact of four out of the six, we believe we should have an opportunity. Like I said, they were very impressed with our projects. The one thing they said, the criteria says a dollar a month. Are there nine communities up to do Yeah. Okay. Who are I missing? There are nine. No the smaller ones. Offer to deal with. Okay. My apologies. Yeah. We will be on there soon. Yeah. 
Sure. Barb, I might add something. Sure. The, the Vision Iowa CAP program, and I think I sent most of you an email about this, but the Vision Iowa CAP program is kind of unique, and they do expect you to have local commitment. We did establish a special projects fund through the County Board of Supervisors in order to leverage the money for the CAP projects that have already been awarded in this county. So we understand how they're backlashing, meaning that if you, if Sac City had a CAT project that they took before the Vision Iowa Board, we would make sure the county supervisors provided the funding that was needed to provide the match there. So it's kind of in reverse now, guys, where we've got a county project and now we need the support of the cities. And the dollar per capita, I know, probably sounds like a lot of money, but if you can spread it out even over two or three years, it at least provides a financial commitment <coughs> to that project that the CAT board is looking for. So in other words, these guys can go back as many times as they want to, <laughs> but until they have the support of the cities, the Vision Iowa board will not provide the CAT fund to them. That's a predicament that we are in. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd just like to make a comment this far. Uh, but you know, if there's, you know, and, and if you know, the question comes up, should we be spending Sac City tax dollars to support another government entity? And I was just visiting with Adam just before the meeting, and, and uh, he had mentioned that if we can see a value to our community, and certainly if there's one city that's to, you know, seek a value to it. Proximity certainly, you know, weighs heavily on that. We're just, you know, a mile, mile and a half south of, or a mile south of our city limits. Certainly, you know, there'll be some overlap in terms of, uh, you know, it's it's outside the city limits per se, but still, you might call it a part of Sac City. So.